Five years after Apple introduced Apple TV, most people are still unaware that this platform offers some great games. So today, here are 10 fantastic new games released on Apple TV in 2020. Number 10, we have Interloper. Interloper is an intense space combat sim with a full six degrees of freedom. It's one of the best looking games on this list with 4K resolution support on Apple TV 4K, stunning and diverse space locations, heaps of on-screen effects and a first person cockpit view. But looks are not everything. I love the gameplay here too. You can go into a range of missions and survive many waves. You can also adjust the loadout of your spaceship, adding different weapons, utilities, a repair kit, and more. Mind you, Interloper is very, very challenging at first. Don't skip the opening tutorial because it will walk you through the controls. Just know it takes a while to get used to the flying, shooting, and avoiding incoming fire. Be patient. Interloper costs $9.99 USD. You can also enable high res graphics and 60 FPS from the settings menu. Number nine is Aruna's Adventure. What we have here is a retro action adventure. It reminds me of the original Zelda games, but with a more relaxed gameplay approach. You control a blue haired hero, Aruna, who is trying to stop the Dark Lord from infesting the lands with monsters. You will fight lots of enemies and bosses, find hidden chests, and go into dangerous dungeons. In fact, the game has over 400 handcrafted screens that stitch together into three large overworld areas and six sprawling dungeons. All of this is rendered in 60 FPS gameplay. Cool. Don't forget, you can earn coins from enemies and chests. This will allow you to buy new gear in the shops. Aruna's Adventure costs $4.99 USD. Please note with a controller, you have to use the D-pad to move. Number eight, we have Warp Drive. There hasn't been a new racing game on Apple TV for quite a while. Thankfully, Warp Drive released in 2020. It's a fast paced arcade style racing experience and has a different way to drive. Here, you can instantly teleport around the tracks to find shortcuts and hidden routes. Unlike on iPhone and iPad, on Apple TV, you can enjoy up to four player split screen. Amazing. Each player controls their own quad rotor racer and will equip a warp module and then you can enter a range of tournaments. Warp Drive is available to Apple Arcade subscribers. Number seven is Mindkeeper The Lurking Fear. Mindkeeper is a horror adventure game inspired by the stories of HP Lovecraft. You play as investigator H. Joyce and will explore a mansion and reveal secrets. In some ways, the game reminds me of Amnesia from the art direction and the fact that you hold a lamp, but this game focuses much more on puzzles and a more structured approach to gameplay. In fact, later on in the game, you even get a shotgun. The game doesn't support controllers, instead it's fully playable with the Siri remote. You hold the touchpad to move forward and swipe left and right on the touchpad to change direction. It's actually a very comfortable control method. Mindkeeper The Lurking Fear costs $1.99 USD. It also supports 4K resolution on Apple TV 4K. Number six, we have Bright Paw. Welcome to the best 3D puzzle game on Apple TV, Bright Paw. It has more than 70 stages where you have to get a cat to the end of the stage. Each stage has different obstacles that will get in your way from robots, lasers, electricity, barricades, and much more. There is also a little story about the cat's owners dying 
and then the cat goes out to exact revenge on the evil doers. Furthermore, the game has great turn-based controls where you can choose how you want to move on the location. You'll notice when playing that there is a fully voiced narrative. While it can be funny, I honestly found it a little annoying. So thankfully, you can skip the narrative and get back to the puzzles. Bright Paw costs $4.99 USD. Number five is Alba, a wildlife adventure. Alba is a fantastic open world adventure game. On iPhone and iPad, the game is locked in a vertical orientation. However, on Apple TV, it plays in landscape mode, obviously. You control Alba, who is on holiday visiting the grandparents. You can run around the island taking photos and identifying animals. You can talk to NPCs and help them clean up the island and explore and explore. I really enjoy the game's animations, especially for when Alba runs. It's really beautiful. The game only released today and I'm noticing the frame rate sometimes drops below 60 FPS, so keep that in mind before downloading. I imagine it will be optimized very soon. Alba A Wildlife Adventure is available to Apple Arcade subscribers. Number 4 we have Oddmar. Oddmar was released on mobile platforms back in 2018 and won the Apple Design Award for that year. In early 2020, Oddmar finally came to Apple TV. I've already shown the game many times on this channel, yet I'm still very happy to show it once again. Everything about it is just bliss. It has great platforming animations and very well-designed levels and music. The game is fully playable with the Siri Remote 2, but for the best experience, definitely use a controller. The game can be quite fast-paced and has a lot of action, and the Siri Remote just isn't ideal for this. Anyway, Oddmar costs $7.99 USD. Number 3 is Figment Journey into the Mind. What we have here is a surreal adventure game set in the human mind. It shows our deepest thoughts, urges, and memories. New, nightmarish thoughts emerge in the mind, and Grumpy Dusty and his friend Piper are the only ones who can face these fears. There is some action mixed into this experience too, along with light puzzles, but it's mostly all about the journey. The game won't be for everyone, but if you can click with it, it might change your way of thinking. Figment Journey into the Mind lets you play the first two chapters for free, then there is a one-time purchase of $4.99 to unlock the full game. Number two, we have Hyper Light Drifter. Action adventure RPG Hyper Light Drifter Special Edition was brought to iPhone and iPad in 2019, but on Apple TV, it only came out in early 2020. On Apple TV, with a controller of your choice, it provides a full console experience, all rendered in 1080p resolution or 4K resolution on Apple TV 4K. Because of the higher resolution support, the game only targets 30 FPS on both TV models to provide a consistent experience. I don't mind the lower frame rate as it still works in favor of the game's pixel art style. Get the game for the fun action and mysterious world on offer? Stay away from the game if you hate pure fun. Hyperlight Drifter costs $4.99 USD. Number one, we have Space Marshals 3. Space Marshals 2 is one of my favorite Apple TV games. It provided AAA quality from the visuals and gameplay. Now Space Marshals 3 is here and, well, it's on another level. It has significantly improved graphics with 4K 60 FPS support on Apple TV 4K, more fluid shooting animations, improved ragdoll physics, and better stealth, tactical combat, and an expanded loadout and gear. 
Right now, only Chapter 1 is available and contains around 10 missions. I love that players can try the first couple of levels out for free before you decide if the game is for you. Each chapter will be released over time and will be sold separately, but there won't be any other in-app purchases. Here are some bonus games. Papa's Quiz is a party game for quiz lovers. Play with up to 8 players and use your smartphone as a controller. It costs $2.99 USD. Arig is a short puzzle adventure game all about going on a journey through dreams. It costs $2.99 USD. Summer Catches is a mystical driving adventure with some of the best pixel art out there. It costs $3.99 USD. Moon Raider is a retro action platformer. It is currently in review with Apple and will be releasing on Apple TV any day now. What do you think of these new Apple TV games? Impressed or disappointed? Apple TV as a gaming platform is very underrated and the majority of developers ignore it entirely. That said, there are strong rumors that Apple will release a new Apple TV in early 2021 with something like the A12Z or A14X Bionic chip, up to 6GB of memory, HDMI 2.1 support, and well over 64GB of storage. Hopefully all of this will get more developers' attention. Anyway, leave a like to show your support, and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple Gaming related. My name is Stewie and thanks for watching.